climbing the volcano and new robotic competition. So this is the overview. So I will give you a small motivation then the idea of the competition, the basic robot prototype or prototypes and the idea of the goals of this, this new competition and, the, and, and of the challenge and finally the conclusions. Well, uh, our some of the motivations to create this new idea of having a competition that is different from other competitions that exist in robotics uh, came from the, the fact that there perhaps in the Azores where we are, we are volcanic region and we start to thinking about having some competition related to it. Uh, we also had uh, volcanic activity recently in Las Palmas. Uh, we have uh, also seismic activity related uh, in, a, sorry, in the island of San Jorge Azores. So we thought, why not we have uh, possibly to cativate to, 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 to children, small children to use robotics in some thing related to vol volcanoes. Uh, we also know that there are some other examples uh, with other kind of robotic competitions for the, the youngest, uh, like firefighting robots, rescue activities in RoboCup. So there is a tradition on these kind of competitions uh, in the open, in the, in the, in the Portuguese uh, uh, robotics open on any other uh, robotics open through all the world. So our idea was to create a volcano challenge uh, targeting the idea of using a, robo, a robotic device to measure and explore the environment of a, a volcanic activity. That was our uh, global idea to present this to the, to the kids. So the first thing was to try to create a, an environment, a different environment. This was the environment we created. So we put some rough uh, material on the top for the robots to move, but um, with some difficulty. On the top, we have an infrared light radiator just to give some uh, uh, light information for the robot to move to that, to that, uh, to that uh, infrared and so to go forward. And the idea was the robot to start uh, in the bottom, go up, collect some information and then, and then come back. This was the experience that we planned to do. And also we decided to design some projects of uh, basic prototypes that could help children to use these prototypes for the first tests. And then they could develop from based on that new robots. And you have here the, some images of the robots that we created uh, and, and you see different uh, wheels. Uh, and our idea was to create legs. And so the, the, the idea of the wedge uh, and the spike wheels that you see in this example. Uh, so the general project was, was to, uh, well, we want this to test with children over 13 years old uh, with the help of the children that is part, with the help of a teacher that is part of the team. And we want also to have this idea of do it yourself uh, uh, and maker philosophy because we, we provide the robot uh, as a kit. So kids have to mount the robot, have to, 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 to join the pieces of the robot uh, and then test finally the robot. They could use the 3D printer and we were going to see that uh, some teams uh, did it in an experiment that we already made. And of course, the prototype of the robot is the starting point. The goals of the chain, the challenge. Well, the first experience were not so complicated as this, 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 uh, these goals you have here. But our first idea was to avoid big obstacles. So to put some big obstacles in this structure that we saw and try the robot try to avoid it using some sensors attraction to the volcano. So using the, the, the temperature sensor or infrared sensor, try to rule. If it moves to the right or to the left, try to find the best way to, to arrive to the top of the structure and climb over small obstacles using wags, for instance, because we want them to, you know, 
uh, it's a rough uh, uh, path, and so it it must be used some 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 help. The robot must pass these obstacles too. Uh, in all these uh, uh, goals, we have uh, the programming issue. So the kids must program the robot to 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 um, to have these all goals uh, in the challenge. Uh, we also decided to create some divide the tasks that the robot can make uh, using giving some points for 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 each one of the the, the, the tasks that they can the robot of each team can provide. Just claim climbing the ramp will be five points. Stop and return. Uh, stop at the return line. We uh, would provide a line that you see it's that red thing that we change into red because we wanted the robot to detect the red and to stop there. So we could uh, uh, assume that that red thing corresponds to lava or, or some hot place in the volcano. Then uh, we could have, we don't have yet, some colors that correspond some data that uh, uh, the robot could collect and uh, then it has to return to the to the to the initial position. So this is all the uh, steps uh, you might say of of this challenge. Uh, if uh, we assume that is all the steps we want to complicate the challenge, so uh, uh, the tests that we made, uh, we didn't use all these these challenge tasks. Uh, one of the things that we uh, well notice and uh, when we were preparing the, the prototypes is that different uh, WAGs can give different uh, uh, solutions. So uh, this was just uh, an example of what uh, can happen if a team start using this kind of robot in this structure. Uh, they can decide to... Uh, uh, thicker a little bit more this this uh, this leg and also uh, making this uh, bigger because extending the leg because it avoids to to be uh, in stopped in some uh, possible obstacle so this is things that we got when we tried to experiment the robot in the our uh, uh, in our structure that we created so this is uh, this um, slide is only about this idea of creating this, this structure and also to test the prototype. And so you have here some conclusions. So this is a new scenario. This is a challenge for educational robotics, we think. Uh, we expect to improve, to have improved prototypes also using it in different competitions with children. And uh, we also, uh, of course, understood that some of these tasks are very difficult, so we want to divide it uh, into uh, the oldest kids that can execute the, the old tasks and the youngest kids only execute some part of the tasks. And I should, uh, that's it, but I had a final that could show you some, okay, it's okay. That's it, thank you. <laughs> Any questions about this new competition? Please. Uh, very nice. Um, you mentioned in the beginning uh, some other competitions that do this kind of thing, like a uh, Robo Cup. And in those competitions, usually you have the, this type of competition for junior students for high school. And then you have the counterpart for university level students. Have you ever considered in the future extending this to a real scenario, which you have here in <laughs> Fayal? <laughs> which would be wonderful, I guess, difficult. Yes, one, but <laughs> yes I, I think it's a very interesting idea. Of course, this is the first uh, prototype we create and also the first model we create. Uh, and uh, the robots that we use don't have enough strong enough to to go 
to, to the uh, a real scenario, but that will be very nice too, because of course in GeoSource we have real scenarios where we can test the technology and the robo <laughs> and the wags and, and everything else. Yes, that's true. Okay, any more questions? So you, you tested it with students? Yes, we tested. I had uh, uh, pictures and pictures of it, but I, I missed the last slide to show to you, <laughs> sorry. So they were very enthusiastic about it. And even some teams decided to create different wheels because they told us, well, that wheels don't work. And because the scenario, because the, 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 the it was the first time the competition uh, was, we, we provide a competition. Uh, they had a lot of liberty to do what they want. And uh, some teams just uh, program with the time, just they go up and go down and program with the time and the, they didn't use any other sensors. So they found ways of, 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 of uh, to solve the problems, the, the, the most easy way uh, they, 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 find, they found was what they used. So we have to adjust some, some, some tasks and adjust some, some, some strategies, but I think it was a success. They, they liked it very much. And uh, I have to mention that you can see it in the last, in the Wednesday, in the last day of the conference during lunch, you can go and see the structure and also the kids with their robots trying to put robots moving in the structure. So we have them and you can talk to them. And they, of course, they are also expecting to talk to you. So asking you about your research <laughs> and about robotics. Too bad, I have to miss it. But um, do you have more information about the, how do you call it? The, the, the comp uh, competition, competition, kind of competition structure. Okay. So my question is, if somebody is interested in trying it, trying it out with the students, how yes. can somebody, a teacher build Yes, we can we can provide information. Yes, we don't have it yet. Okay, this All is right. a, a kind of a prototype, but we can provide it. Yes. Okay. Any more questions? No. So it's finally time to lunch. The the lunch will be served on the university campus. So we go walking, by walking, and uh, we have it until half past two to lunch. Okay, good lunch. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> All right.